everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Spickety Games. I'm Sydney, and today we are back with Control. We are finishing up the Old Boys Club chapter. We ran around last time completing a bunch of random research because I couldn't find the door to get down here um, to, where is it, the parapsychology. Um, and then there was also just so much to explore. Like we like found like pieces of the labs that they're working in, like Dr. Darling's labs. Not his actual lab, because that's what we have to find right now, um, his HRA lab, but we found like different places. We learned about different experiments. We learned the origins of the Threshold Kids. <sighs> and uh, we had a big showdown uh, after we met Marshall with uh, one of the head scientists. So I think that tells you how their research was going. Anyway, we just cleansed at this point and uh, saved this one dude. Uh, I think the others ran off. Uh, I believe we explored the the shelter and some of the stuff around, but I'll do it again just to make sure. Um, yeah, we are here to find the HRE lab, help Marshall out, and if we help her, maybe she'll help us find our brother. So let's get right to it, and let's just find the things. Did we go in the ritual office? I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure we went in the shelter. Yeah, pretty sure we went over in the shelter. Let me check real quick. I'll be right back. I'll be back in half a tick. Boom, back in half a tick. Yeah, there was nothing, we, we found it. If it was something in there, we found it. If not, there was nothing. Okie dokie. Where does this lead us? Are we back where we were? give me things oh well who needs coffee pot uh okay federal bureau of control is it this one yes okay oh and we gotta zoom i gotta remember thank you for the file it was very helpful i've re-archived it with the black rock research in case you need to refer to them again Yes, the video shoots are always interesting. I expect my availability for those to decrease in the future, however, as my analysis of the newly discovered Black Rock variant is reaching a critical point. I hope you will be able to attend them still. Darling seems to be under a lot of pressure lately. I'm sure he would appreciate any support you can provide. Regarding the analysis you provided, I do not have any questions. Thank you for the expeditious delivery. Regards, Research Specialist Dr. Carla Vaughn. Federal Bureau of Control. Interesting. So this black rock thing seems to be very important. We found a door to it earlier uh, when we were down in the like security basement area, like where this that guy was, um, and when we were doing stuff for like Ati. But um, we don't know what it is yet. Also, this is interesting to get like. Uh, news of Dr. Darling's mindset because so far we just have like videos of him actively like freaking out you can tell he's not well like the last video we watched he was drunk um, he was like yeah whatever <laughs> we're making stuff <laughs> and you can tell that like the work is getting to him so it's interesting to see it in like writing um, that there's like a timeline to it essentially oh boy Okay, so does this lead back? <laughs> it's so weird to see me everywhere. Does this lead back to where we were? This looks cool. How fancy. Bunch of math. That's above my pay grade. <laughs> I just take out everything. Did you see the binders go? Oh, that's great. Hey, this is Emily Pope. Okay, examine of paranatural topics, tangible effect of rituals. Summary, obsessive compulsive disorder, hoarding anxiety disorders. While certain manifestations of these conditions are simply the result of mental illness, sometimes the individuals are simply performing cold rituals. The of rituals can vary. Numerology, dream logic, forfeiture, verbal formulae, Repetitive action and causal tethering are just some of the procedures involved. Some rituals are consistent, such as 
pulling the light switch cord three times to enter the motel, but some are erratic. While most people engage in minor rituals every day, the vast majority do not understand the importance behind their actions. Avoiding disaster, amassing luck, or simply locating lost keys are all the results of daily rituals. Individuals who recognize a deeper meaning behind these compulsive actions are inherently aware of the paranatural world and, when located, should be considered for employment at the Bureau. Refer to file for full report. Okay, that's interesting. It's actually really interesting. So it's kind of taking stuff that we know in the day-to-day and kind of giving a reason for it, like beyond um, what we are kind of aware that it is, that basically these like daily rituals are actually the result of paranatural connection. So that's actually really cool. I like that. Um, and we did experience that, at least in this game, with pulling the light cord three times. Um, that's very interesting. I also love that they call it a daily ritual. That's really endearing. Man, I wreak a lot of havoc. <laughs> uh, look, and it's broken. Good job. Oh, even worse. I don't know whose office this is, but it's fucked up now. Extra. Extra. I mean, I, I kill the bookshelves, the, the binders on the shelf, the coffee pot, the windows. They're gonna love me as the new director. I know I say this every episode, but it doesn't get old. <laughs> Just terrorizing people. Do I continue to go up? I don't think so. I don't know whose lab that was, but uh, sorry, not sorry. Okay, so I think, yeah, we're back. Okay. <laughs> it was up there. Yep. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, let's continue. Hi, sir. Nothing happened up there. Promise. Whatever you heard was not what you heard. Um. All right. Continue on towards Darling's HRA lab. Do we get one? We don't need one because we're fancy as fuck. <laughs> it does not get old. Um. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. If he's alive. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. Precisely. Because all of the... Uh, and we were talking about this last time. All of the heads of departments so far have been like taken over by the hiss. Like most of the big bosses, like Tomasi and the chief doctor over here and there was one more they're all like people of prominence um essentially on the front lines uh of all of this so yikes Ooh. altered item number 52 ae analysis session two i will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item first a low voltage electric shock to the duck No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Uh. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. This poor duck. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Hello. Can you understand me? Can Quack. you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. Quack. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. I love the idea that this lady's like so serious. She's in like a lab coat and she's like, no, no response. <laughs> and it's a duck. Ooh. But look at the duck is like exuding. Who needs a camera? 
Okay, this is exuding. Mmm. Okay, maybe you are a suspicious duck. We got some squares here. There is a name, a term for that symbol, I'm pretty sure. But I don't remember it right now. Any ducks in here? Who need no cameras? None of that. No parabolic dishes or whatever those things are. Did the ghost get trapped in here? Well, okay. And then... Oh, nothing here either. Did the duck take over everything? Nothing here either. Goodbye! Hell yeah! Alright, we explored the things. No coffee for anybody. <laughs> Could probably use some though. Or tea. Ooh, what the hell? No mannequin meetings. None of that. Get out of here with that. Alright. We are told to go this way. Laris is like, please and thank you. Ooh. So we got a door back here. <laughs> Get out of here. No energy. Can I just move it? No. What's back here? Excuse me, what? Just a little extra thing? Astral blip? What does that do? Materials. So these are just like different types of things. Oh yeah, and then we had the timed missions that they were coming after us for. And that's just the test that we heard about the rubber ducks. Look at me hanging out in the pipe room. Well, that was interesting. I was kind of hoping they would hide more secrets than a material, but I suppose the materials are important. What is that? that these are not the cases I want to grab. <laughs> Again, not the cases I want to grab. Can I not? There we go. There we go. Baby. Ooh, weapon mod. Oh yeah, and we got a second one, and I did not use it. <laughs> so what did I just get? This one. Damage against enemy armor. Ooh, that's probably super useful. Ooh, I got a better version of it. Low health boost. I already got the health thing going on my self on the other one so i'm i'm inclined to just do more damage stuff here so let's definitely add this uh we have a, another weapon slot but we don't have another weapon but see like here i'm doing the health recovery thing i gotta un unlock another um ooh, i should probably do the launch thing though but i i like the health for now uh but when we get a second one we definitely want to do like a launch boost or something because I keep running out of um, energy pretty fast. Hello? Oh. I gotta make it the thing? I gotta make it the thing? It's like Qbert. So we, oh, okay. Okay, I gotcha. What a weird way to do this. Okay, it's in quadrants. So that okay we definitely want that then and this yep so we just want the uh -huh. boom it's the line this looks pleasant <gasps> hra lab by the way you let me here any idea how to make it work oh that 
I was gonna say, by the way, I love the walls. Like the texture in this place is awesome. Like I love all the, the lab rooms have like the sound padding. Um, it's really trippy to be in rooms with sound padding. Uh, but this, like I just, the detail to the way that the building looks. Here for it. Stop watching me. Um, this cube seems to be very important. I don't know what for or what it means, but it seems to be very important. Okay. Dimensions, feedback loop. Too powerful for our use. Okay, so it's a dimension thing. Getting all the papers. That's what Steam tells me anyway. Utilization of paranatural elements. Black rock prisms. Summary. Black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique structure of the prisms retains frequencies in the range to hertz with perfect harmonization. This report analyzes the results of focusing a through a harmonized prism onto a methods for imprinting of non-physical fields onto imbuing them with the properties of harmonized resonance in the prism will be explored and explained. Refer to file for full report. Interesting. I don't quite know what it means, to be honest. I mean, I, I understand they're basically testing this rock. Part, so it seems to be a physical rock if they can turn it into a prism through which they can shine things through, either light or like sound frequencies, but it seems like that, they're, that the prism can affect stuff. Should we go upstairs? I think we'll, let's do this. I'm sure gonna we're gonna need something to like activate it. Ooh, that that's that, that's the thing. That that looks. Hello like again, director. It appears we have a new problem. Hi. We need to get the HRA machine. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's probably something more that we need to do, but look at that! So they're using, uh, I'm assuming that's black rock, and it's cut into a little prism shape. Well, actually, black triangle. That's not lost on me. Um, but they're, so they're, so they're using that shining light frequency or energy, maybe resonance something, what did that file say? Through it, and that helps create the HRAs. Aha, aha, I see you. Okay, I did recognize the one on here, and so I was like, We need to find all the punch cards. Yes, ma'am. Punch cards. Are you referring to these? Oh, what is oh, oh no, card cards, like actual punch, punch cards. Okay. So there, oh, five, is there five of them? On the board, there's five symbols. Aha. I got things. I can, I'm capable of finding these things. Randomness is not in his nature, but they are randomly everywhere. No, ma'am. I'm exploring down here. So that seems to be all of them down here. Okay. I'm going upstairs, ma'am. Also, hi, welcome to the party. Oh, -ho. look at this. Punch card. I think it's the last one. Oh, four, okay, so four is up here. Interesting, it's a puzzle. We love puzzles. Ma'am. 
You you just got here. We're absorbing the information. Restart the punch card terminals and then activate the HRA machine. Okay. So, is it this guy? Oh. But we need information, so my guess is these boards. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Stop being a backseat scientist! I'm trying to work on it. Too strong. Changing variables leaks out. Our way in. So it's a cube. Okay, so there's that. There's that one. There's that one. Mm, was there more upstairs? There was. Okay. Ah. Marshall? Can we affect this configurations? Okay, there's two whiteboards that have that one with the Umbrella Corporation symbol on it first. So I'm inclined to think that one may be first. Let me take a picture. Okay. And then that's the one upstairs. There doesn't seem to be any other whiteboards. Classified. Okay. So there's that one. What are the symbols mean? I have no clue, man, but we're figuring it out. This one does not have the same order. -ah! Don't do that. I feel like maybe this one's the wrong one. Looks like a happy face. And then there's this one. So let's look at this one. Can you guys see it? There we go. This one compared to the other one. Marshall is walking through me. What do these whiteboards mean? So it's almost the same, but not quite. So we have the same starting symbol, but the two that are X'd out next to it are different. And the third one that's marked out, that's that's not marked out, is also different. But compared to the other one down here, okay, I think I get it. So we're gonna start with the, the umbrella corporation symbol. Marshall, you are moving me, ma'am. And Try then, different combinations. Shit, shit. One of them has to work. Shit, shit. And you're blocking the board. Get out of here. Ma'am. 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 We are studying. So I think we're going to use the Umbrella Corporation symbol here. If Miss Ma'am can let us watch it. And then we're going to choose these next two that are not marked out on that other board for the happy face. You guys can see it there. Stop moving me. Ma'am. And then we're going to go back to that other symbol. And then we'll play process of elimination for the rest of them. Um, okay. So numero uno should be this one. That's two. Let's do the square one. This one. Oh, wait, no because there's like a little swapsies that makes the happy face. So let's do this one. I'll put the, the picture up so you understand what the hell I'm talking about. And then three is this, this one. And we're gonna do the one they tried to trick us with. That's five. So four, we're gonna go back to the other board with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.
So we don't have... Okay, so I think it has to be this one because this one is not on the other board. Because that's the fourth one. Well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's right. Because that's on that board. Ooh, but it's different on this board. Ah, no, but look, look, the little, the little, the little, the happy face, <laughs> the arrow tells me that that's the last one. Yay, we guessed right. And this is the last one. Is that right? Did I get it right? First try, right? It sounds right, unless I go do the explodey thing. Does it work? Light. Watch it explode. She's like, why are you director again? <sighs> the prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. Oh. Did I fuck it up? I think that was supposed to happen, though. Hell yeah. Ma'am. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab, down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. Well... I need to ask her now. Before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this key card. <laughs> She's like, uh, Thanks. uh we're not friends. <laughs> Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. Well, it's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Whoa. Here, oh my God, this will so lead close. back to central research. I was so close to, <laughs> to finishing this one. You guys must have been like, She's so close. I do this every time. I'm like, I think the chapter's gonna be a little bit longer, and then nope. <laughs> oh, I should have finished it. Whatever, it's fine. So we got a shortcut back. I love that we always get a shortcut back. <laughs> She's like, we ain't besties. <laughs> I will call you Faden. Um, and then I mean, I figured as much. We haven't fully helped her, so why would she help us? You know, like the whole point of coming down here was to save the her people being ambushed down here and the people on the front lines in general and we haven't really done that yet so um i don't i don't blame her but i also like it just i feel like we haven't even completed the job so why would she help us first i mean we may be the new director but we're obviously new and we're literally coming into the middle of 
them trying to hold down the fort. So, you know, there's that. So Threshold is the next chapter that we've just entered. Oh, it's the humming. Ooh, no, thank you. So it looks like we can get back. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh, I'm into it. Okay. So this brings us back to the beginning. With the elevator. Hell yeah. But this is still not open. Interesting. And we already explored the hell out of this area. So I feel like we're confident. I feel like I'm confident that I haven't missed anything in this area. I ran around here forever. <laughs> Trying to get to the entrance to parapsychology. Yeah, that was fun. I was like, how do I get? It magically opened. So, that was good. See, whoa there. Gotcha. Oh my lord. So you guys said those are like heat seeking missiles essentially that they will literally come for me. Please no. Sir. That is so rude. Sir. The damn missiles. <laughs> no, none of that. Before you even strike. That was a preemptive. -pre How about no? These guys are interesting because they explode. Like that. Which is kind of good because they seem to appear to take out their companions. I love that she just rips up the floor. Take him out. Oh. Take him out. Heh. <laughs> I think I threw something out of it. Take him out. Ooh, boy. They do not want me in research division, by the way. They're just after me constantly. Okay. So. Oh, whoa. Personal mods full. 26%. So what am I have on? 28%. Yeah, see, I don't really need that one. But I suppose, 20%, 21%, 25%, and 20%, we can deconstruct these. We can pick that one up. And then, let's definitely do some upgrading now. And then, since I do have a little bit more time, let's, maybe let's do that mission from executive that we couldn't get to before. Is it bad? Oh, not that breaking my own game this the mailroom thing let's do that so you guys were kind of saying it's like the um uh, what was it it's in my brain um they're like the the settlement needs your help thing and like fallout right um when you guys were saying that in the comments and that 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 makes a lot more sense in my brain because i was like trying to figure out i was like these can't be they're obviously optional and i was trying to figure out like what do they do i mean i suppose it's just sort of like since we're the director it's sort of like help we need like your assistance here so i like that aspect of it one because it gives you like stuff extra things to do so it'll take you hopefully to like new areas and other areas to explore to return to so it looks like this one we're gonna go to the mailroom to do it um but i also just like the idea that like the whole bureau is really under welcome back hi that's very nice of you the whole bureau is like under attack right now right so it's kind of cool that you know we can set up more or I guess I'd rather help more, right? Look at this. There's more set up here than there was before, isn't there? Like, not all of you were, like, chilling here, were you? 
Maybe you were and I wasn't paying attention. Is there anything for Emily? In his organism vary so wildly. What's the connection? I don't know, but I see this thing. All right, analysis of the Hiss threat, part two, confidential. Summary. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with a non-aggressive floating Hiss entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent Hiss entities have been observed. What is the purpose of repeating this string of words? Is this how the Hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of this chanting. See the corresponding audio record. Refer to file or full report. I don't think we need to hear it. Oh, yeah, this was by the order of us. <laughs> um, I don't think we need to hear it. We, we hear it quite often. Yeah. I do wonder what it is for. I wonder if it's like... Incantation seems maybe more the right word for it, but it seems like a way to keep them like in sync and also maybe like to keep them under the spell. I mean, spell is not the right word because it feels too magical and this is very scientifically based. Um, but like it, it feels like a way to keep their minds like focused on the hiss, you know what I mean? And it keeps them all in sync. Hi. Is there Hi, anything Jesse. we can ask? Oh, yes. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. A little bit. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. Mm. And how can I work without access to all the data possible? True. It does seem like he's... Well, I don't want to say suspicious of Emily Pope. Although I, I will add to that in a second. It seems like he was suspicious of everybody, right? I mean, he obviously was trying to keep a lid on his work because what he was doing affects everybody's lives. I mean, you can see with like what he did with the HRAs that helps everybody, but in the wrong, making the wrong mistake uh, or trusting the wrong ideas from people that don't fully understand stuff could be detrimental to everybody. Um, but in the... When we were coming through, I mean, this is just chatter from people. It sounded like people were a little suspicious of Emily Pope. Like, I know it was just chatter from, like, the people out when we were, like, the guards and the other people setting up all the stuff out there uh, when we walked in. But they did say, like, it's kind of crazy that she's authorizing this type of data breach. I think they're referring to Emily Pope. Pope wants us to compile all the data. Darling's personal logs? They'll crucify us if he finds out. Who does she think she is? So it's kind of interesting. And then between that and then like this question about Pope's role and then hearing her bitterness at not being let in. I don't want to say I'm suspicious, but my, uh, my, my spider senses are, are tingly. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? Bad. It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Why is she excited about that? Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? For real. For real, could you imagine? Like, that would be honestly probably the best Monday morning. Everyone's at work and they're just like, all right, we're at a meeting, got the coffee mug. God, I don't want to be here right now. And then all of a sudden, kaboom, there's all this water everywhere and then a shark. Ooh. 
Uh, that would either be really great for about 10 seconds and then really horrible. Probably <laughs> really horrible after. <laughs> That's funny though. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before, and studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the Bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Hmm. I didn't, she didn't strike me as an assistant, but maybe I didn't pay close enough attention to her title. Hmm. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. To Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Holy Does shit. Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. How do you prove something like that? But I suppose... I suppose you could prove it if you could get one of the other doors to open and see where it leads. Because of the name, I and mean, we mentioned this when it popped up before, it'd be very interesting if it connects to the Ocean View Hotel. Um, and I wonder if that's one of the ways that they would connect Alan Wake to control more just than the events of Alan Wake being in AWE and being something that the Federal Bureau of Control is studying. I wonder if there's something where you could like, I don't know if physically is the word for it. It's not the night type of science, but you know what I mean? Connect them like literally through the doors. Um, that would be very interesting. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? Us? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? <laughs> oh my god. More tests. Let's hold off on the tests until later, okay? Yeah, we got shit to do. Okay. You know, it's just, wow. I, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. <laughs> I love how much she loves her job. Like, even if, I don't think she's... Again, Spidey, Spidey senses are tingling. So far, she doesn't seem that suspicious, but there are like seeds that could be planted here. Um, but I do, regardless of however that turns out, you could tell she definitely loves her job. And you can tell that it's actually a fascination and a love because even though all of her theories around what the control points are wrong essentially she's like oh hell yeah there means it's something else and she can study it test now let's do it and also the fact that she's like i wrote a 30 page report <laughs> i love that see you soon i love be careful out there when people find what they love to do because it shows so much you know and and, and that makes me happy that they're happy that they love this stuff all right let's go run and do the oh oh my god it counts down i'm not gonna have time to do it aha so it doesn't okay this is my question was when i it's ridiculous pope's grasping at straws see like they're not like a fan of her okay let's do the this um and while we're doing this, we're going to talk. Um, it'd be interesting. So, I okay, the, the timed missions. 
I don't know why I thought for a second that like the timer would like pause. It doesn't make any sense because of course like the the help is needed now. But for some reason I was like, oh, I'll have time to do it. But nope, um, that's okay. As you guys mentioned in the comments, there will be more. So we'll we'll do more of those then, I suppose. Because I can try and make it to the mailroom now, but with four minutes, I don't know what, what we can do. So sorry, people in the mailroom. Uh, all right, let's do a little bit of personal mod stuff. I think uh, it would be good to get a second one. Launch damage. Launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Oh, hell yeah. We're doing that like right now. Fuck yeah. That's got to be the greatest thing ever. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. Large enemies when their health is low. Lo large objects. Hold and launch up to three objects. Oh, I want to launch people. That just sounds like a great time. Let's have more fun. Hell yeah. So let's launch enemies when they're low. <laughs> and then should we save it? Oh, and we can launch large enemies. Okay, and we're doing that. I want to launch people. That sounds fun. Okay, we don't have any more of those things. But we'll pick up it. Think about it. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Oh, and I can go. All right, so let's do this then. So we can add a second one. Hell yeah. We need... Got two of the same here. Okay. Seven. Okay, that's not helpful. Let's get rid of these. Because they're lower. We got nine. See, we had ten. We had, whoa, no. Eleven. And ten. I think let's definitely do this. Because I keep running out of energy. So that definitely will help. Ooh, recovery speed. 23%. Ooh, take less energy or recover it faster. Can we test it? No hiss followed you in, right? No. Ooh, there's this. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in Coconuts. inappropriate workplace behavior. Ooh. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. Decomposing? At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. That sounds like a, a better idea. So this is like a, a jukebox that if you play it, it'll send you to a different area. And somebody was using- okay. Good job! He doesn't bring corpses back. Oh no. Uh, what I wanted to do though... This room. We don't know what this room's for yet. Um, I wanted to test out our little ability real quick. Okay, so I'm out of energy quickly. And then if I do this. Recovery speed. Honestly, it feels about the same. I can't tell which one is like faster. Oh no! Do you think we can make it? Does it change if I make it? Let's try. Because we can teleport. I was moving up, damn it. Oh, no. 
Let's see if we can make it. So, like, do we get a new mission when we get there, or is it just like in two minutes? It's like, nope, everybody's dead. Sorry, you fucked up. Go to the mail room. Hello? Oh my god. Not good. We're gonna lose. We got thirty five seconds, and it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Failed. I asked for that though. We had 30 seconds. I'm so sorry. Uh, they're all toast. That's my fault. That's on me. Um, whoops. But that is good to know what that means. So like, the timer is just gonna keep going no matter what. Oh, we can do this one. Cause this one was a part of it. Random common personal mod, kill 25 people in the executive sector. Well, we might as well finish that one because why not? We're already here. And then we'll call it a day. This one's like a little bit quick and we're not doing, we finished up the thing. I like to kind of try and do as many of the missions in a neat bow as I can. Last episode was just getting long and I, I anticipated there being more to the oldest boys club. I regret my anticipations, but this happens, but we get to explore. So that's what we're here for. We get to hang out, holy moly. Y'all just appeared out of nowhere. Wait, can I pick him up? Ah! Oh my God, I can pick him up. That's amazing. Where are you? Oh my god. Dude, the fact that I was able to pick his corpse up, that was amazing. See, that's, that's the type of terror we want to wreak. We would love to wreak havoc this way. Hello? Any friends? Any buddies? No friends? People? Hello? I'm all alone. No one to come and shoot. So this is st Ooh. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's still a no. We're trying to find more terror to to hang out with. There we go, there we go. Howdy. That shot at absolutely nothing. Boom, baby. <laughs> Sir. Sir. Congratulations, you are 18 out of 25. You where? Friends? No friends? Oh, friends! Yeah, baby, you are 19 of 25. I feel like Legolas and Gimli counting. <laughs> counting the, uh... Can I pick him up? Oh, I killed him instead! Hello! Toast! Ow! Dead! 
Anybody, uh, yes? Hello, hello, hello! I missed all of those shots. <laughs> Every time. There's always at one point I go, you know what? Who needs to hit things with bullets? Oh my god, where? Where? Shoot, shoot it at me. Come here, come here. I want to throw it back at you. Do it, I dare you. Do it, I dare you. Sadness. Where is he, where is he? I think we did it. If I can hit something. Yeah, I think we did it. It's not counting anymore. Buddy. You guys are extra credit. Where's he? Take a table to the face. Hell yeah. I think we did it. Did we do it? Yeah, to collect our reward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that. I love that you get a treat for doing the extra thing. Like, I for a game, it makes sense, but it's just kind of funny to think, like, as a director, you get a treat for it. <laughs> whatever. Uh, okay, so we are here. Let's go to Central Executive. And we get our treat. Exciting. And we completed a first, like, optional mission. So I think that's a good time. We got an idea of what it's like. So where do I need to go? Central Executive. I'm here. Where do I collect my reward? Who's here? Hey, energy recovery. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so these are all the extra things. Kill enemies with a service weapon in pierce mode. Use charge, kill enemies in the executive sector. Kill his guards in the executive sector using spin. In surge mode. In maintenance. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, this? We have a new hotline? Object to tell? We've heard this, no? Holders 665. <gasps> That's the number! To the other blessing. We hold the reins, the law. We are failing in translating hyper real concepts. Secrets. Instructions will be lost. Ignore this message. I know less than half of what that was trying to say, but 665, we know that number from Alan Wake 2. So there's more significance to that number. I was wondering what it was in Alan Wake 2. I may maybe I thought for a while, I thought it might have been important, but then nothing really came of it, so I thought maybe it was just a jest on, like, the devil, right? The, not 666, but 665, because it's next door. And they were, like, joking about that, kind of, like, within the context of Alan Wake 2, where we saw it, uh, like, in Mr. Door, the studio area. Um, because, like, Mr. Door, like, he's not the bad guy, but he's, like... I don't know, it's, like, I feel like there's the joke is there, like... Like, he's not the bad guy, but he's next to him. But he's also, like, we know he's not necessarily evil. Well, maybe not. But, like, he was trying to help us as Alan. Like, he was basically saying, like, I'm on your side. Something like that. But he's definitely not gonna hand us the keys and just be like, all right, bye. Here's your help. Um, Like, he's definitely, he's, he's as his show kind of implied in between 
Um, and I think he's also probably in between, um, like, allegiance-wise. Like, he's not good, but he's not bad either. Um, so there's that. But 665, for that to show up again in control, that's not insignificant. Like, that is to say that's it's definitely something. There's something more with that number. So that's very interesting. Okay. This one was a quick little episode. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, we have to go to the Black Rock Processing to go in maintenance. So maybe we'll get another job from Ati um, and hang out and help him. And also it looks like while we're down there, we might as well do one of these extra little missions since there's one down there to kill. <laughs> we're jumping. Uh, what was it? Kill... Countermeasures? Oh, they had to pop up as we go. Okay, so it looked like there was one that was in maintenance, so maybe when we're down there, it'll happen. Although they seem to maybe happen like when you're not in those areas and it's sort of like you have to make an executive decision whether to leave the area they're in to go to the other thing to do it while it's happening or not. Um, we got a teeny tiny taste of it, but we failed. But I kind of set myself up for failure. I had 30 seconds and I went anyway. Um, but it's good to know that the timer or anything like that doesn't reset. It just like, if it goes, it goes. You either go and do that mission or you don't. Um, there's no necessary consequence to it other than you just doom a bunch of sad NPCs to their death um, as they try to protect the Bureau. Um, interesting though. I love the different connections that we're getting. We're starting to get kind of closer and closer to, I think, writing the bureau's situation so we're we're getting closer to at least locking down the fbc and making sure that it's safe and then from there we kind of give from there i think we'll have the choice to be like okay like we can we've now filled the boots of the director and we will continue on that path or whether jesse finds a way to not be the director i feel like she's stuck in it though i feel like, like it's chosen her she chose the gun there's no way out of it until something happens um because like otherwise director trench and stuff would still be around right anyway um i hope you guys don't mind this short little episode i try to keep the chapters pretty neat um to each other so like i try to do my best to make sure that we do like one chapter per episode but usually about once in a series i have one chapter that I think is going to go on just too long and I leave the second half for another thing and then it ends up being not that long so I really got to just power through because this is it happens it happens anyways the next chapter will be threshold and I'm very excited to get to that we'll get to finally see what this black rock is um has nothing to do with it when I think of like the black rock or I think of like some sort of it gives me like dead space vibes <laughs> has nothing to do with that at all uh, but the black rock thing and like it's you know the monument you know what I mean you guys know what I mean anyways we will see what that is all about we will hopefully find the prisms to make more HRAs not exploded again so sorry Marshall um, she didn't seem to blame us for it I mean it's not really our forte we are the new director and not a scientist hopefully we'll find dr. darling along the way and maybe once we help everybody else finally get some answers about our brother and yeah should be pretty cool. I'm excited. We are, I want to say, as of the next episode, we'll be about halfway through the game, I would say. Um, and then, obviously, we still have a bunch of side missions to get to. Uh, some, All the stuff that we can find as far as information goes and connecting all the dots as we do it. So, yeah, should be fun. I hope you guys are having a good time so far. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye! Okay,